The renewed attacks by armed bandits on some communities in Plateau State is spurring the state governments to respond swiftly to the menace and draw up new strategies to ensure safety of lives and property. Governor Simon Lalong and the Inspector General of Police Usman Al Kalibaba are here to kickstart the move for improved security in the state with the procurement of logistic items, 50 security vehicles, and 200 motorcycles by the state government to change the narrative. These vehicles will be equipped with communication gadgets to enhance rapid response and continuous surveillance, while the special security motorcycles will enable the security agencies access remote locations which criminals use as hideouts to launch attacks and retreat. There is no more hiding place for criminals in Plateau State. I hereby commission them in the name of Allah to send them as Governor Lalong then hands over the security gadgets, cars and motorcycles to the Inspector General of Police. The gesture is appreciated by the police chief, who believes the gadgets will go a long way at improving response to security challenges in Plateau State. By dedicating scarce state resources towards supporting the federal government in securing lives and property in this crucial stage of our nation's history, you have given effect to the scarred position of the Constitution of the Federal Republic, which provides that security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of any government. There's also a demonstration of the competence and readiness of the officers to tackle crime in the state. With the support from the Plateau State Government, residents of the state, and particularly those in communities affected by the violent attacks, look forward to a time they can sleep with their eyes closed in a more secure and peaceful Plateau State.